What is up, everybody? Today, I'm gonna do something that I've never done before, which is <laughs> I'm gonna play chess off stream and I'm gonna see if my rating goes up if I play off stream. Now, as you may know, I reached 2200 the other day and I just uploaded a video about that. So, you know, here somewhere on the screen it is if you wanna check that out. But after that, I dropped 150 rating points and I want to see if I will play better now that I'm not streaming and I'm gonna take you with me so that you can see if our chess gets better off stream so hope you have fun I'm gonna be talking about my moves and everything and hopefully we gain a little bit of rating it's right now 1 a.m. and it's pretty early for me I go to bed at 4 a.m. every day I don't recommend it but I do it <laughs> but <laughs> we'll see how it goes I'm excited let's go ahead and do it we're gonna play some three minute games. Uh, no increment, nothing like that. I'm playing as Malukas from Spain. I'm gonna open D4. And then we're gonna go C4. We're gonna see what he does. He's going C6 first. I guess he wants to go D5, but now he's going F5 and this is super weird. I don't think this is a thing. You either go F5 immediately. Do you, can, do you go C6, F5? This seems very strange to me. Um, I guess an idea is that a lot of times you want to go e4 is white uh, he might want to go d5 and then this pawn is protecting it so in a way it makes sense i guess um in a way it makes sense but i'm gonna go ahead and gambit i i like to play the staunting gambit which is when you go e4 pretty early on i'm gonna go knight c3 now and now this move is not possible because it takes takes queen check so he's starting by going there and I think this is now going to transpose a little bit to my stunt and gambit. The only difference is going to be that I have a pawn right now on c4. Typically, I have it on c2. So it's a little bit different from, uh, from, what, I, from, from what I typically play with that. But I think it should be okay. So we have some different options. We could either take, although it doesn't really make sense to me. Um, because this pawn is hanging. I think that I'm just going to go ahead and push here. Just so that this queen is not attacking the bishop. Maybe I can go bishop d2 at some point. But I just want to get some space in the center. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. I kind of like it. I think this is fine. So it's going d6. Um, Yeah, I still cannot take here. I'm considering... I'm considering what to do. I think I'm going to go queen d2 to throw into take and then take this pawn. Nothing is under attack yet, so... I think this should be fine. If this bishop goes up here, we're going to bring this knight up to e2. And then we're going to go ahead and get this knight up over here. I think it should be fine. Uh, this is looking this is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. Okay, Malukas. Are you ready? Are you ready for everything that's to come? Okay, I still have two minutes. I still have two minutes, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, we have a little bit more time than him um yeah we'll see i'm also thinking that a lot of times you want to go f3 in these kind of positions uh at least in this daunting gambit but i feel like it's different now i don't see the reason to do it right now so i think i'm just gonna go knight e2 and bring this knight up to g3 to attack this bishop and to also attack this pawn um he's bringing his other knight probably i'm thinking that he probably wants to castle queen side because he's gonna have some issues bringing this bishop out and castling this way so in a way, it might make sense to try to castle queenside. And in the dream world, I'd like to avoid or I'd like to stop him from doing that. But I'm not really entirely sure of how to do it. One way I could perhaps make it a little bit more difficult is if I take here. Because then his position is going to be a little bit weakened. Um, I could also actually just take this pawn immediately. The queen is hanging. So he would probably have to take here and then I could take back. And that would at least give me... The queen back but the issue is that then he's gonna be taking here and then the knight is gonna take so i'm gonna start by taking this pawn and then i'm gonna go for this idea we can see that my bishop is now defended so now i'm gonna go ahead and take over here um he's gonna he's gonna exchange and i'm gonna go ahead and take with my knight and now finally i've won the pawn back it's gonna be pretty easy for me to get my pieces out so h6 i'll probably go bishop e3 just to keep my bishop. I could also have taken this one. Might have been a better choice to take it. Just to not lose a tempo. Especially because he's always going to be able to exchange over here. Um, but now I did it. So whatever. I'll just have to live with that consequence. Although maybe I can go bishop here now. Just to keep the bishop on this diagonal. And then go bishop c3. 
just to still keep my bishop. I don't really want to exchange my bishop. Uh, just because I feel like my bishop is a stronger piece than this knight. Just simply, typically, you don't want to exchange your pair of bishops. Uh, it depends a little bit on the situation. Right? So if you have a close position, a knight is typically better. If you have an open position, a bishop is better. And this is a pretty close position, which is why it might have been fine to exchange the bishop. But I think it should be okay. So castles, we're going to castle as well. And I want to go f4 just to open everything up, I believe. d5 is played. I'm probably going to take just because this pawn is pretty weak anyways. And um, this is the moment I'm considering to go f4 just to open everything up. If this pawn goes up, then I'll go ahead and go for this check. Um, I might also be able to go f5. So I'm going to pre-move taking back here. Also, why am I playing a 3-0 game? I don't really know. I don't really know, but I think we're gonna take this home. I feel like we're gonna be better now with our time uh, when we go get into time trouble. I think this should be good. So, yeah, time is ticking as well. We only have 16 seconds less than, than our opponent. Time is ticking 37, 36, 35, 34. Keep on thinking, Malukas. Keep on, keep on thinking. 30, okay, now it's pretty much the same time. They're taking a long thing here, which is really beneficial for us. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. All right, they're going for this move. We're going to go for the check. And I am going to go ahead and push F5 if takes. I'm going to take over here. They're not allowing that. So we are going to move our bishop to the only square where it can go to. And then we're going to go ahead and bring this knight up very soon. So 12 seconds. We're going to go ahead and take this one now. Uh, this is just a free pawn. There's nothing more to it. We just want a pawn. They are they are attacking our bishop, so we're gonna move it. They are attacking our knight, so we are gonna move it. Uh, we're gonna go king over here just to get out of this pin. We're gonna bring our bishop down. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and exchange over here. We're gonna take the pawn back, and then we're gonna win our time. First game off stream, we win it. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. I'm not going to play against the same person. We're going to go ahead and get a new person that we play against. Let's see. How many games can we win in a row? How many games can we win in a row? We're playing against another Spanish pe person. So knight f6. We're going to go e6. They're playing They're playing um, just a uh, queen's gambit here. Uh, I'm going to go for the Ragozin, which is when you go bishop before. The idea is just kind of to just put some pressure over here. Uh, there's lots of theory here. I'm gonna pretend that I know, but I've forgotten because I haven't studied this in two years. Shh. So e3. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just get my knight out. I think that makes sense. I probably wanna go c5 at some point. I think it should be fine. So here I'm going. Um, I'm gonna be giving. Um, I'm gonna be getting an isolated pawn, but I'm gonna claim that I'm gonna be getting some peace activity for that. So that is why I'm pretty much okay with it. So we're gonna go ahead and take this pawn. And the knight takes over here. I want to bring my knight up and show some love. So we're going to go ahead and get the knight up to e5. I'm threatening this bishop. The bishop, sometimes the bishop goes for something like this just to go for simple tactics on h7. But they aren't doing that. This knight is pretty strong. I have an isolated pawn. So I'm going to go bishop e6. I'm not afraid of them taking here because then I'm going to have a reinforcement for this pawn forever and ever. I don't want to exchange. I'm going to go bishop e7. I want to keep my bishops. Uh, and I probably want to go knight c4 at some point. If they ever take this knight, then we're not going to have an isolated pawn anymore. And then we're going to have a lot of space. This pawn over here would be controlling both of these pawns. And these two pawns are pretty amazing. Pretty amazing, uh, pretty amazing pawn. Or they're not amazing pawns. They'd be really bad pawns. But I mean, one pawn would be controlling two, which would make it very amazing. So we're going to bring a rooks in. We want to get all our pieces working. Yeah, the reason why they went bishop here was just to offend... Now these two pawns are becoming uh, quite weak, I would say. I don't think these pawns are that good. We could even take this one right now and just win, uh, win a pawn or win a pawn. Uh, this maybe wins a pawn in, in an even better way because there's no knight takes d5 anymore after knight here. There might have been some knight takes d5. I'm not sure. So we're gonna go ahead and take this. They're being very brave by not being afraid to take my a7 pawn this is sometimes a poison pawn i'm gonna go b6 and claim that it is a poison pawn if they go queen here which they might uh, i think that i can just take this pawn then and it should be fine and my threat right now is to go queen c7 and take this bishop this bishop cannot go anywhere right now 
So we'll see if that is uh, possible. They're trying to bring the knight to save the bishop, uh, but we're not going to allow that. So I'm going to go bishop here, stopping the knight from going up here, which, which is the plan, just to save the bishop. And now I'm still threatening to go queen c7. This is still going to be my next move. So whatever they do, pretty much, I'm going to go queen c7. If they go for something like queen over here, then I cannot go queen c7, because then if bishop takes, queen takes, I'm going to be losing my rook. So... Then I have to do something else, but I still don't see how they're going to be saving their bishop. I still think that we're going to be able to take it. So, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, the rook is going over here. Um, yeah, the idea here is that if takes, takes, I cannot go queen c7 anymore. So, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, it, it does make sense. I think that I'm going to take here anyways, though, and then I'm going to go bishop c5 as intermediate move. I'm going to be threatening this knight, so this knight has to move, and then I'm going to go queen c7. Or even queen a8 might be an even better move at that point. Yeah, or even... Uh, I, I, I don't know. We'll see what they do. We'll see what they do, but we do have some extra time. They probably need to just go back to f3. I think this is the move they need to go for. Um, and then the issue is that if I have queen c7, they might go b4, and then I cannot take because they take here. Um, so that might be a little bit of an issue. That's why I was considering queen a8 instead. But it would lead to the same thing, probably b4, and then if this bishop moves somewhere, then this pawn is going to be hanging. So it probably would lead to the same issue. So it's not being super easy to take this bishop. It's being a little bit harder than what I hoped or thought it was going to be. Um... I'm, I'm thinking if it's still just going to be for the best to just go for this and just end up being a pawn up instead of really trying to take this bishop simply because of the fact that it's being a little bit more of a hassle than what I thought to take that bishop. So it might be a better idea. Another move that I'm considering is to go queen e7, threatening this bishop and threatening to take this. I actually really like this move, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and go for that now that this bishop is under attack. If this rook goes over here, yeah, okay, so they're threatening this one. Um, this could be okay. This could also be a mistake. So takes and then this move. Then we need to think. Then we need to think. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and take over here. But this is making me think that maybe... It was a mistake what I went for. Maybe I should have gone for the other idea anyways. Because I think it would have ended up being better. I would have been a pawn up. And it was my initial idea. I just felt like I wasn't getting too much out of it. I mean, it made me kind of sad that I wasn't getting too much out of it. Um, and also, it's making me extremely sad that I'm going to be losing this rook. It's making me extremely sad that I'm losing this. All right, it's fine. We're going to go ahead and I believe bring this up. And then we're going to start pushing this pawn. So we still have our chances. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. So we're going to go ahead and give this our absolute best. I'm going to go bishop over here. We're going to bring this king over here. I'm threatening this one. We're going to start pushing our pawn. Ah, I'm going to lose some time. Okay. Okay. Well, people, yeah, this is not amazing. This is not amazing. I think that in this position, I think that in this position right here, I should have, I should have not blundered my rook. I should have not blundered my rook. Yeah. So I don't know if I had anything here night up. Maybe I could have, maybe if I would have gone another way, check. This should have been pretty okay. I could just have, uh, yeah, maybe if I would just have gone king here or something and just stop this, this should probably be a draw, but I just didn't have any time. All right, people. Well, this was my little late night playing two games with you. I won one. I lost one. I don't think that this can tell anything about if I play better off stream or on stream, but I'm going to start posting some videos when I play off stream and just kind of talk about my moves. Let me know if you like this kind of videos, just some chill, you know, late night, cozy vibes, playing some chess with you um and yeah tell me in the comments down below what your favorite chess piece i don't know man just tell me what your favorite chess piece is i think that knights are s tier see you in the next video people bye bye